The Heat area high school football teams are preparing for their first game of the season. An added element is being added to the game plan, and that's battling the heat. Yesterday, four Columbia high school football players were treated for heat exhaustion. WAFF 48 Savannah Sapp is live outside of Columbia High School. Savannah, tell us, how are those players doing? Well, Margo, I'm told the four players are now recovering, but their experience is highlighting the importance of safety procedures put in place for high school sports. Now, Dom, Don Webster with HEMZ says the Columbia High School football players were suffering from heat exhaustion. Head coach Sean Watson says when he noticed the players showing signs of exhaustion, he stopped practice immediately and called for medical attention. Watson says three players were transported to the hospital out of precaution while the other was able to recover quickly after cooling off and getting hydrated again. Watson says the three players were doing or are doing fine and are expected to be on the field for the first game Friday night. So I think uh, a couple of the kids kind of stayed home today just to make sure they get some rest. Uh, tomorrow they'll be back at it like regular, um, talking with all the parents and uh, all the doctors. They made sure everything is clear for them to play on Friday. Now, the state high school athletic association already has procedures put in place for when temperatures reach above 103. Now, this is this includes but is not limited to additional water breaks and practice time not in full pads. I'll have more for you on safety procedures tonight at six. For now, reporting live in Huntsville, Savannah Sapp, 48 News on your side.